Hi everybody, it's Brennan. Welcome to a mid-June edition of The Scoop. We've got numbers hot off the press, um, interesting stories. You're going to want to watch this one. And then Gretchen, our intern in the marketing department, created some profile frames. You know those things on Facebook you're starting to see people put frames around their pictures? Well, she's developed a bunch of them that are business drivers, like come see me at my open house, things along those lines. So you want to check that out as well. All right, everyone, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the scoop. Okay, everybody, we're going to go through the numbers. Remember, you can go out to My Connect, click on Statistics, and you'll get all these details. I'm going to try and do this, by the way. Cynthia is making faces at me just on the other side of the wall, so I'm going to see if I can focus. Let's start with Cedar Rapids and Marion, and I'm using the new infographics, and so I'm going to kind of walk through these because it gives a better dynamic view of the market. In Cedar Rapids and Marion, average sold price, as I mentioned in the intro, above $200,000, it's actually $204,000. That is up 5% year over year. That's a big jump. Uh, active listings is rising, or has risen, I should say. We look at that month to month. So from April to May, uh, inventory levels are up 6%, but our solds, these are closed deals, are down 7%, so 500 closed deals in the market last month. Inventory levels is kind of what we're trying to keep our eye on, months of inventory, and it's the tale of three markets. Under two months of inventory at the 250 and under level, three and a half months, so still a little quick, between 250 and four, and then eight months of inventory above 400,000. So that's what I was talking about, that inventory is gathering at the higher price points. Along the bottom of these infographics, we always talk about our iowarealty.com stats as well. Um, we are moving in the right direction, 191,000 visits last month, um, and we are increasing the listings on that website as we bring more and more MLSs on. We've now got Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, and um, Des Moines metros MLSs on the website, of course, and we've added three more in the northern part of the state. Within 60 days, we'll have all 17 MLSs in Iowa on that site. So look at those numbers to keep growing. Okay, let's move down to Iowa City. Um, our highest uh, average sold price in the state outside of Okoboji. So 238,000 uh, average sold price, which is down just a little bit. Active listings is up over 1,200. Number of sales, kind of a quiet month relative to last May, um, where we had 13.7 closed uh, we're down 13.7% in closed sales. Uh, again, months of inventory, 1.8 at the lower end or at the entry level, 5.2 in the mid-range, so about a normal market, 8.7 uh, months of inventory above 400,000. Okay, let's go to Des Moines and see what the numbers look like there. Uh, right in the middle, or slightly in the middle of average sold price, 226,000. That's up a point and a third. Uh, active listings, getting up over 3,300. We're still low, don't get me wrong, but it's up, and that's a good thing. Month over month, we added 33, or we added 6.8% again to 3,300 homes. Number of sales, 1,450, that's down 5.2. A very similar story, crazy fast at the under 250 level. 1.2 months of inventory, 30 days, 40 days, we're selling out of all the inventory in the market. Uh, 3.6 at the mid, and almost seven months at the high end. Again, go out to My Connect. You can get all these details, and you can share these infographics. Now, we're seeing you guys do it on Facebook. Love it. That puts you as the industry expert for your sphere of influence. So go ahead and keep doing that. Okay, let's move on.